Hi everybody, I'm doing this a little bit early today because I'm going to do a cook with me video in a couple hours and I'm going to be making my uh, barbecue meatloaf. I originally got the recipe from Thriftastic Mom but I'm, I'm not able to eat like fresh peppers and fresh onions so I changed it around a little bit and you know used most of the recipe but I had to you know adapt it for 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 the way I have I'm able to eat and it turns out that it's really really good so um, it's easy to fix so tune in later on and you'll uh, see me make barbecue meatloaf okay it's time for jokes of the day what is the difference between complete and finish husband when you met me, you were complete. When I met you, I was finished. Ooh, hoo hoo. What about that, buddy? At work, one coworker says to the other, Excuse me, may I disturb you shortly? Uh, of course, what is it? Nothing, I just wanted to disturb you. Hmm? Hmm. Teacher, What do you think, uh, who do you think invented dancing children? Little Johnny. Um, my guess is it was a big family with just one bathroom. Ooh, could be. Two men talking on a bus. I've been riding this bus to work for 15 years now. Friend, Lord, where did you get on? Ooh. <laughs> A centipede boy says to his mom in a shoe shop, Remember, Mom, this time no shoelaces, please. <laughs> That'd be a lot of tie in there, buddy. Doctor, uh, your coughing sounds much better. Patient, and no wonder. I spent a lot of time practicing. <laughs> okay, job interviewer. And where would you see yourself in five years, Mr. Jeffries? Mr. Jeffries, personally, I believe my big, biggest weakness is in listening. So, what? What'd you say? I wasn't listening. I made a beginner's mistake and went shopping on an empty stomach. I'm now hap I'm now the happy owner of aisle number seven, the snack aisle. Okay, and it's time for. Mm, wait a minute, I think I got one more first. Last words of a skydiver. Oh crap! Those annoying clothes moths. Uh, uh, okay, now it's time for Joy's joke of the day. How do you prevent a summer cold? Catch it in the winter. Well. And remember soon, I sent out a community post. A busy Bee is going to be visiting me and Adam. And she's going to visit Adam in the Garden of Hope. So tune in. It might be a week. I, it, it's, things are working to where it'll be soon. Now it's time for who is this? Yeah. Okay, I had oh it actually stayed where I wanted it to. Man of the day yesterday, Michael Keaton. And Mr. Mom, I probably we've probably watched that movie six times at least. That thing is so funny. It's just great. It's so eighties though. When you watch that movie, everything's like, eh, this is the eighties. And then, I'm going to show you a picture of this one. I mean, it was Terry, Terry Gar, everybody. But that's the youngest picture we had was that one. Another one, she's the same age pretty much. So I'll show you, you know, today. There she is, so... She doesn't look anything like her picture anymore, but I haven't really seen her in anything either. Have y'all seen her in any movies or anything? 
I don't believe she's been in anything in a long time. I could be wrong. Okay, and now I will show you some new pictures. Uh, they're hopefully pretty young. I like it when they're like babies, but can't always have it that way. This one's going to be a little bit older. Uh, who is this? Sometimes we're going to have some that might be a little tough, actually. Never know. We'll see. But this guy here, he was in the movie uh, Grumpy, Grumpy Old Man, and I think he was in the Grumpier Old Man, man, and he was also the penguin on the old TV series Batman, with one with had Batman and Robin in it. Uh, what's that guy's name? Adam. Well. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's the old one that used to be on TV, the old Batman, where they said it would show pow, crunch, slam. Real loud, you know, spelled out real big on the screen. But he was the penguin. And he was in Grumpier Old Man, I know, and maybe the first Grumpy Old Man. And this one. She was also in the Grumpy Old Man, and I think the Grump I know she was in the grumpier old man too. Older movies of her include, whoops, I wasn't looking. Houseboat uh, with Cary Grant. So that shows you how long that ago is. And Legend of the Lost with John Wayne Pilgrim. You may have to Google that one if you don't remember old, if you haven't watched old movies. But um, that should be it. Guess who it is in the comments. And I'll show you tomorrow who it is. So now it's tablet time, tablet time. Friendly neighborhood tablet time. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ooh. Make sure I'm not missing. Okay, I remember showing that yesterday. <laughs> It's actually not raining right now, and the sun has peeked through all the gloomy clouds and stuff. Can't believe it, because they need a little bit of sunlight now that they got the nice watering, but it's still supposed to rain for days. Okay, here's the cube steak, and I had some uh, mashed potatoes with the gravy naturally over it. A cucumber that we got from Walmart, English cucumber, and these radishes on my plate are from our garden. I'm hoping to start getting stuff soon. It was delicious, and I ate all but one, I think one of the cucumbers. I ate everything with that. Oh, so good, y'all. I recommend it. Everybody seemed to like the video, so tonight, I hope you'll like the one of of the barbecue meatloaf and it's a been a family favorite for a long time now this one is a bacon cheeseburger on the grill and pasta salad and Jennifer made this and they also grilled some chicken to have for dinner after church uh, today oh I could make it a little bit bigger oh I love pasta salad especially in the summer don't y'all I mean, it's nice and cool. You can eat it warm, you know, but I like I like it refrigerated more myself. Either way, it's it's good, really good. And that looks great, Jennifer. Let's see here. What's this? Load. Oh wow! Beautiful scenery there, y'all. Well, what happened? Uh, I wasn't even on that. I'm sorry. This does what it wants to sometimes, y'all. Really does. Rock on. Woodstock reunion. <laughs> Woodstock was a long time ago. 
Now these, every time I uh, click back off this, it goes to uh, Facebook. I'll look at this. <laughs> this all right. Okay, you'll have to look at this for a second. Give it back. <laughs> that's, that's Rocky. Okay. Remember the song? I hug the tiger. Dun, dun. <laughs> I had to look at it for a second at first. I was like, what? Uh, oh! <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> Let's see what grandma, this is a grandma. Crabby Road. Maxine, that's right. My doctor's concerned about my blood pressure and I told him next time don't leave me sitting in the waiting room for two hours. Dang, she tells it like it is, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, she does. I noticed all them, you know, of hers are kind of, you know. Like that and stuff. I think it was what she cleaned out her checking account the other day. She threw it all away or something. All these years I've been doing tricks for regular dog food. You're a monster, David. A monster. <laughs> and I have to say that uh, she had, we got her uh, kitty a uh, thing of treats that was in a plastic container that had a, like a, a Tupperware top, you know, on it that you could put down and had a place to open it and stuff. Well, she got to where she knew that that thing, you know, when you shook it, that that was it, the treats. So we did fill it with her kitty food because we don't want, you know, she's a kitten and we don't want her eating or wanting even to eat treats all day long. We want her to eat the food that's, you know, meant for her. But we will give her treats and she, but she knew that that did it and then we put the regular food in there and it's, and she's been eating it and doing that. So it works. So I hate to say that, but it works. <laughs> okay. One of the worst cases of giant skyscraper neck I've ever seen. We see this a lot in a lot of people who've recently ret returned from Dubai. And I got to say, they're probably right. He's probably right because if you've seen uh, many pictures or videos of Dubai, everything is skyscrapers. <laughs> You'd have to be looking up all the time, I guess. Get me a drink of my mm, vegetables in a can. Since I don't eat many vegetables, I've got to do something. I don't want to eat just that. I've got I still got some of that baby food, but I'd rather have these. <laughs> I guess we run out of the V8. I'll eat some of those, like, <laughs> baby food things. Oh, yeah, there were some people asking about slow cooker liners that I was using. And, you know, apparently, I don't know if they're around in other countries much. And, uh, you know, they were thinking it'd burn up or something or other. And we, you know, I was skeptical at first. But that's what it looks like, the ones I've been using. I think we got this one at Walmart or Sam's, but I think it was Walmart. This one had eight in it. The ones that were Kroger brand only had like four, and they uh, this was a better deal because there's eight in this one, I believe. But yeah, it doesn't the the temperature doesn't bother it at all in there. I guess if you were to leave leave it dry, you know, with nothing in it. Uh, Maybe it might, you know, melt it sooner or later, but it's so much easier on cleanup. But we hadn't had any problem with them at all. And, uh, you know, I got, we got so tired of soaking that crock pot that, you know, you could lift it up out of the base and put it in the sink to clean it. But, you know, there's always stuff stuck to it and stuff, so you'd have to soak it. There's your, it takes up half your sink there or more, you know, and just sitting there soaking, you know, and you don't want to use anything real abrasive to clean it so you wait and this way you might have some that had spilled in it after you were pulling it out maybe I mean it's pretty much totally clean but I you know we still wipe it out and stuff you know but uh, and wash it if needed but usually we don't have to this is Christie's uh, dog she said was wore out <gasps> looks it <laughs> Taking a nappy. A nappy. Okay. 
here's the if you want the recipe I've started putting them up on community post when I do a cook with me or maybe sometimes if I have just a recipe I think y'all might like so today this one is on for the, the barbecue meatloaf it's on my community post all you have to do is go to it and you'll you'll see it and uh, it's really good uh, I did a little collage to show my Mr. Gnome out there and the, the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree, those little butterflies and the little rocks and things. And um, this one here shows a zucchini growing. I doubt you might not be able to see it. And that is the tomatoes. And this is the one that uh, you hang up that said, bless this garden. And I put it on the stake of the uh, green beans. So I'm gonna get this a little close so you can see. I think I might have sent this out on community post too. But yeah, that's them and then that's the tomatoes are going wild because of all this rain. And down here you can see a, a cucumber. I mean a, a zucchini. And it's got several more that started growing on it already. It's just going whoa. Crazy. And then for lunch, I had, I ate that, you know, I showed y'all, I didn't show y'all. Okay, let me make sure. I got a couple more. We got some sandwiches at Dollar Tree. And uh, if y'all notice here, can you, if you can see, I put that thing here that I got one of them on the refrigerator. And I had the barbecue pork rib sandwich and I, that's what I can show you here in a minute what it looks like but then uh, we got Logan the spicy chicken sandwich and I think he's had that before and liked it and Joy got her a Philly steak and cheese hot pocket so I already I already ate mine as a matter of fact there's the box right there it's not dirty or anything well, I just do something. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, here's what this one looked like. It's not dirty. Okay, that's what mine looked like barbecue rib sandwich. And it was a lot better than I thought it was. I mean, that it would be. And the, uh, I had some of that potato salad. Uh, from Sam's and one of those pickle spears that we got at Aldi that I told y'all about are so good But it was good. I did put some mayonnaise on it, but I didn't put anything else And it wasn't dry or anything and it actually had you know pretty good flavor for it So for a dollar, you know, it might not be the healthiest thing, you know, I wouldn't eat them myself I wouldn't eat them all the time, you know, I, I might get one of these a month or something myself, but They're quick and they're pretty good I think the cheeseburgers are pretty good there too. We've had them before and we dress them up. You know, put stuff on them like lettuce and tomato and stuff. And this, uh, Missy, this is Missy's supper she made for tonight. Or unless I ate just early. Unless it could have been from last night because I don't know if she sent it. Either way, they had that for dinner. And it looks good. It looks like cheesy, cheesy potatoes and stuff. Um, okay, I think that's about it, so make sure I didn't miss anything, and like I said, tomorrow, I mean, uh, later on, look for me, because I'll be doing a cook with me, and I'll show you how I put together my barbecue meatloaf. So everybody, press that like button, subscribe if you had not already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. God bless, and I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.